And we're joined this uh, Tuesday morning by uh, Dr. Ariel Antezana. He uh, is head of the Neurology Medical Clinic here of Central Louisiana. Going to talk a bit about MS. And uh, March was National uh, MS Awareness Month. Yes, and, exactly. Uh, Dr. Antezana, mm -hmm. welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. And um, thank you, everyone, for you know, listening this morning. Tell yeah, last month was uh, uh, the National MS Awareness right. Month. And you know, it's a uh, time for people be aware of this devastating condition in several uh, patients. What is MS? Yeah, basically it's a, the most common immune-mediated uh, uh, disease of the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. Basically it's an inflammation of the uh, myelin that is the uh, uh, protective sheet of the axons that is you know, part of the uh, transmitting information from the brain to the body or from the body to the brain. Right. So there's a disconnection between that information and the, that brings uh, several uh, symptoms uh, that we can discuss a little bit about that. Uh, usually multiple sclerosis happen in uh, young patients. There's more predominance in uh, women than in men. Uh, what well, that is? Uh, there's some theories, uh, you, in, in general, uh, women, they carry uh, a genetic predisposition for more um, immune-mediated conditions. Mm -hmm. um, hormonal changes, it's a possibility. We don't know exactly yet, but uh, that's a possibility. Um, uh, as I was telling you, the uh, condition happen in young people, usually women, but uh, happen also in uh, men. Right. Uh, sudden onset of a neurologic symptom um, loss of vision, uh, sudden weakness in one extremity, uh, urinary symptoms like urinary retention, uh, and several others. Uh, but usually that how, uh, that's how it presents. And it's yeah. not one specific sign or symptom that occurs. It's a, is it a um, series of different events? Yes, uh, usually, uh, and that happens, is misdiagnosed for several months uh, until you know the patient sees a uh, neurology or the event is uh, uh, severe enough to bring attention to the patient. There yeah. I have several patients who just complain of some numbness in the arm. They say, "Oh, maybe I slept in the wrong position." Yeah. Right. And then several years later, they develop another symptom, and they are accumulating uh, these uh, lesions in the brain. Actually, yeah. How do you treat it? Um, there's, uh, we are in a, uh, and that's the reason why I choose to specialize in multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 12 uh, FDA approved medications for multiple sclerosis. Right. So there are several medications that uh, modify the immune system. We have immune suppressants, we have immune modulators. Uh, those reduce the number of these flare ups that I was uh, explaining to you because the condition has these presentations of flare ups resolution of the symptoms, flare-ups. Mm -hmm. So the medication reduces the number of relapses, reduces the disability progression, um, and the number of uh, MRI lesions, that is the, the most important tool that we use to diagnose and uh, evaluate the prognosis and uh, diagnosis and uh, progression of the disease. Mm -hmm. Seizures an issue also with MS? Uh, it's a very uncommon presentation, but yeah. that can happen. Right. Uh, few patients, but it's, an, uh, it's, it's not that common. Usually it's this loss of function in several uh, um, parts of our body. What happened during March? It was uh, MS uh, National Awareness Month? Yes, exactly. The National MS Society that, you know, for patients who probably are seeing the program, uh, is the best way to get information through mm -hmm. uh, this uh, website, the National MS Society. And uh, actually, uh, the National MS Society and several other groups, they uh, do different activities, including a MS Walk that happens in New Orleans, Baton Rouge, right, and in right. several other parts of the country. Uh, and there are some several other events to uh, make the awareness, the, some, uh, collect some uh, uh, money to help with patients with yep. MS who have some, uh, who need some resources. Well, thanks for coming by. Good Thank you very you. much. And we were just talking beforehand, relatively new to the area, been here for yes. a year and a half now? Yeah, 18 months. 18, getting, yes. getting used to everything? Uh, yes, uh, pretty much. My wife actually is the, the, the one that she's happy already established. <laughs> I'm still, you and know. She's in happy, still happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for dropping Thank by. Thank you very much for, for, for the invitation. We're going to visit Vernon Parish when we come back. Stick around.